idcwoodcraft.com. Hello, my CNC brother or sister. I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, and welcome to this video. <laughs> A weekend update video where I just want to tell you hello, happy weekend, hope things are going amazing for you, and that you are making some amazing, cool projects. I have been unplugged for a week from business. If you tried to call, then you got a message saying, sorry, I'm not available, you need to send an email because I was at an event for seven days in life and in business. We need to develop ourselves always. We need to always be growing, learning. And so I was on this uh, self-investment type of thing where I, what I say in the business stuff, right? All business is here, so we have to develop our mind. We have to exercise our mind and learn new stuff. I was at a Joe Dispenza event. Now, if you've not heard of Joe Dispenza, then you may want to look him up on YouTube, but it's really about the heart and unloading things that we feel like are holding us back. So I was unplugged from that, and if you tried to call, then you got a voice message that said, I'm not available, you need to send an email, my team will take care of you, because I had them taking care of the emails while I was out of town. So that's something I do from time to time. I'm always investing in myself to expand my knowledge, my awareness, um, just always learning. Okay, I wanna share something really, really cool with you. I got something in the mail, uh, Two things in the mail from a couple of CNC brothers that really, you know, this is what CNC creating is all about. When you can create things that touch people at their heart, which both of these projects did. I love getting things in the mail. And what's so cool about that is when somebody takes something, they make it on their CNC machine and they send it to me, I know that that is the best possible way they can say thank you and that they actually take time out to do that. They are really trying to say thank you because something in them shifted by virtue of what I've been teaching and encouraging you to just go dive into the CNC world and start figuring this stuff out because it's such an amazing, beautiful, creative space. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about these two things. The first one comes from somebody I, for the life of me, cannot figure out who sent it. The package they sent it in only has an address and no name. And so I figure, oh man, I'm, uh, there's no note in the, in the envelope. And um, I tried to search up their address through my database and, and I just couldn't find their name to say thank you, to, to personally tell them thank you. But this is what they sent me and this is so, so, so cool. And this little black pouch is a pen that they made. And if you look at it, it's got this really cool brushed brass or bronze type of look to it. But if you look at the, at the pen, at the middle part of it, there's an image of me. And as we rotate it around, it's the picture of me holding my newest grandson, Nikolai, who is about two months old now. You wanna talk about a very, very cool special gift. And that pen, this is weighty, I love I love the CNC made pens. And this is done a little bit differently because there's an image in it. So whoever you are, <laughs> I don't know who you are. Maybe you can put in the comments below who specifically you are so I can contact you and personally say, you know what, this is a really beautiful project. Thank you. Um, touch me at my heart. The other one came from our CNC brother, Bob. And it's a project that he sent me. First of all, he sent me this letter um, talking about why he made this project for me and what he has done. Bob is a CNC brother who, uh, his career was, he was a dentist and, or in the dentistry industry. And now he, like many of us, as we leave the, our, our, the workforce, it's like, what am I gonna do with my life now? We need some new kind of purpose. And 
the, this creative space of CNC is so fulfilling, not just for us because we're creating, but also when we create gifts for other people, like what I'm gonna show you what Bob sent me in just a moment. So he also sent me pictures of his long mill setup. He made a very awesome bench and he wheels it out into his driveway when it's not raining in his area, <laughs> which is what his letter explained. But he responded based on a video that I created not too long ago, and I'll link it down below if you want to see it, about creating. I don't know if you have been through this, but on occasion when we are sharing our projects with other people, sometimes we don't get the response that we would expect. Like, great job, you know, very cool, congratulations. Um, sometimes people just come out and start correcting you, <laughs> like I had on this cool 3D carve here, which is a woman holding up an American flag. And I, uh, some, I posted it on the CNC Entrepreneurs Facebook group, which I encourage you to join. There are many of us in there. A uh, lot of people who have been in the service, in law enforcement, fire, EMS, and in the rest of the world. <laughs> but um, I posted this picture of this project, and somebody just came right out and said, my stars, the banner, the union was on the wrong side of the project. and. And I just laid in on that video saying, you know what? This is never about what other people think should be done. You know, we can't read other people's minds, but that's not the point. In CNC routing, it's a very, very creative space. And it's for us to get creative, not for other people to judge, right? We are here to help each other. And in that video, I explained the IDC Woodcraft values for me and my team as we engage with, with you and other CNC brothers and sisters. Because I have seen this type of reaction so much from people where they just come out with a negative attitude on, on our projects, um, it's just who they are. It's just who they are. But I talked about the company values and how we are to not only work with each other inside of IDC Woodcraft, but how IDC Woodcraft works with everyone. The suppliers, the, um, and you. And so Bob had sent me um, this project right here. And if you look at it, He's got my logo carved in on it. By the way, this is made of cherry. And he put the three values that IDC Woodcraft carries. The number one core values in everything we do. They are encourage, validate, and celebrate. Encourage, give support, confidence, or hope to someone. Now, what I, why encouragement is so important is because many people who are starting to look at the CNC router space. They're often not sure they, that they can do it, right? Um, it's intimidating. It's a whole new world for many, many, many people. And, and it's scary to dive off a high diving board and you don't see any water down in the pool and you have to trust that the water's gonna be there. Or in other words, trust that you're gonna be able to learn how to do it and start making very, very cool projects like this very meaningful sign that is gonna be hung up like everything else in my shop as I finally get final organization taken care of. The second value after we encourage people to continue on, to take the plunge, to, to, to try the next more complicated project, is to validate. And validate, what does that mean? It means to recognize the worthiness or value of what someone has done. And what that means, why validation is so important, is often we'll start off making a project and it gets botched or we make these mistakes, and we, at IDC Woodcraft, and the whole CNC, almost the entire CNC community, says, you know what, you took a step forward, yay, I, you know, you did it, right? And, and you, the fact that you post your stuff 
in the CNC Entrepreneurs Facebook group. I suggest you sign up for that. I'll put a link down in the description of this video, uh, or you can search CNC Entrepreneurs group in Facebook. But the reason validate is so important is because we are sharing. Why do we post our stuff on Facebook? Is because we're proud inside of what we've done at some level, and we want to share that sense of pride with our brothers and sisters who are creating. And and it's nobody's job to sit there and try to strip that away from you. Right? That's why validate is such a key component in the core values of IDC Woodcraft. So we have encourage and validate. And then the final one is celebrate. And celebrate is to observe an event with ceremonies of respect, festivity, or rejoicing. And this is exactly what it is. When somebody posts their stuff, and it doesn't matter if it's a first time and it, and it doesn't look that great, um, there's lots of mistakes in it, who cares? I celebrate for you every step that you take moving forward in your CNC journey of finding that creative side inside of you, bringing it out, and actually going through the joy of saying, wow, I actually thought about this. I used the tools and resources that were provided to me, the design software, your CNC router, and what have you, and you created an amazing project. Maybe not so amazing, who cares? You took the step to get into the next level. So this sign right here, this is super, super important to what IDC Woodcraft stands for because these are the three values that are at the very core of IDC Woodcraft. And these values are there because me, like you and everybody else, has experienced through our lives People who say you shouldn't do that, you should live in a box, you should follow these rules and, and, and do things this way, and I say bullshit, you are you, this is the time to be creative, free, spirited, and just do what's on your heart and grow. So thank you to Bob for this, and thank you to whoever for the pen, very, very cool. And as a final note, I want you to just keep your eye out for two new CNC router bits that are coming out. The first one is the 3 16th compression bit. You can see it here. Why did I come out with a 3 16th compression bit? Because it's going to replace the 1 8th compression bit and it's going to replace the quarter inch compression bit. It has the strength of a quarter inch but can get a smaller cut like the 1 8 getting close to it. So it's a bit that'll hold up. You can run it faster. Here on the Phantom, I've run it at 240 inches per minute at full depth of a 3 quarter inch piece of plywood. So it's a pretty aggressive bit and it's still left very clean cut. So the other one, if you know the hog, right, the, 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 the bit that everybody is using that is a game changer as far as the timing or the time that it takes for your projects because it's designed to remove so much material. We now have the Beast, which will be coming out soon as well, which is a variant of the Hog. It's slightly redesigned. It is shorter than the Hog, as you can see here, the flutes are. And I have run this on the Phantom at a full depth, at three quarters of an inch on a piece of plywood and uh, 600 inches per minute at 100% step over. So this is not the hog, it is the beast. And that is what it'll be titled as, and it will be coming out in a few weeks as well. I have gotten emails from people asking me, is there any early release on this thing? And unfortunately not. There is a lot to do in the background to get products ready to get out to the market. And, uh, but what I will say to you is neither of these bits will be announced publicly that they are available. They will be announced first in the CNC Insiders email group. Now those are people who have signed up to the CNC Insiders email list. And those who are on that email list get special announcements, you get special tips and tricks about CNC, and you get discounts that are not made public on the YouTube channel here. 
or you get steeper discounts on CNC related stuff that are not announced on the public channel. So if you want to be one of the first to know about this and have first access to it, because I can only have so much stock at a given time, so uh, you need to get on the CNC Insiders email list. I'll put a link down below in the description. Um, you may be able to search Google for CNC Insiders, I don't know, but definitely down in the description is a link to get on the CNC Insiders list, and you will get an email in the coming couple of weeks letting you know when these bits are going to become available and you as a CNC insider will have first dibs on this stuff. What the videos that are coming up, I got two videos, three videos coming up for you. Number one is how to set your project up like if you have a, a new piece of wood and you're gonna, you, you always want to surface it before you start carving it so it's nice and flat. So I'm going to create a video that's going to teach you exactly how to set that up with your surfacing bit in your design software so you surface it properly. The next video is going to be how to create the Adirondack chair on the long mill and I will provide the file for you meaning you will be able to have that file for free. But I'll walk you through the setup and some of the design aspects about it. And then I'm also going to do a video on the Phantom doing the same thing with the Adirondack chair. So, uh, and then the next video behind that will probably be a review video on the Phantom. I've been working it quite a bit, getting to know the Phantom, and I think I'm about ready to dive into a review. But before I do that, I want to go back down to Phantom in, in North Carolina and talk to them and see their equipment, some of the things that they, they're coming out with, because they're coming out with some new machines, and uh, I want to make sure that I introduce that to you during that review. So you've got a full spread if you're looking to get to a more production-based type of CNC router. And with that, my CNC brother or sister, I hope you have a great day, better tomorrow. And, of course, happy CNC. IDCWoodcraft.com